Hello, I'm going to show you the new Google Classroom feature called Video Activities. Video Activities are a great tool for Google Classroom where you can now grab any YouTube video and embed your own personalized questions into the video for students to participate in as they're watching the video. And you can also set the questions to auto grade if you want, and it gives you a ton of great uh, data on student performance once students have completed the activity. To show you a quick example of what that looks like, here I have a video and you can see down here I've added some questions to that video and as students watch the video they can then participate in the questions that I've added. So to get started on creating one of these for your students, you can do that in two places. The first is over here in Google Classroom on the resources section. If I click on that, you'll see two options, practice set or video activity. You're gonna go ahead and click on video activity. The other place where you will get the option to create a video activity is from within a Google Classroom assignment. So here I've opened up a brand new assignment. You'll notice this area here called YouTube where you're probably used to adding a YouTube link to a video. But now watch what happens. If you do add a YouTube link to a video, you will get the option here to add questions, which is creating a video activity for your students. So I'm going to go back over here. I'm again, I'm in this resources section of Google Classroom. You can choose to find a video either by keyword search and searching videos there, or you can choose to have a tab open with YouTube, find your video here, copy that link address, and then simply paste it into the search bar. Once you found the video, you're going to click on the Add Questions button. In this screen here, you can play the video and then begin to add questions as you watch the video. So for example, I found this spot in the video that I want to ask a question about. I'm going to go here to the Add button and click on that. You'll have three options, multiple choice, checkboxes, open-ended. Multiple choice and checkboxes you can set an answer for, so then the system will automatically grade it open-ended, you'll have to go back and manually review to add a grade. So I've selected multiple choice. I'm going to add my question. You'll notice it automatically plugs in the question time, but I could choose to manually change that if I would like to ask this question at a different time in the video. Now I scroll down to find my answer options and type those in. Once you've typed in your answer options, you can select the correct answer by clicking on the bubble next to the answer choice. Once you're done editing your question, click Save and Continue. I can then move on in the video, adding additional questions as I go. Again, the Add button. In this case, I want to add an open-ended question. you notice an open-ended. There obviously is no field to type in an answer choice, so you're just going to type your question, then click Save and Continue. You can always delete a question by clicking on the trash can icon next to your list of questions. Once you're done adding questions to a video, it's always a good practice to preview it or try it as a student. You can easily do that by clicking on this eyeball icon where it says try as a student. Once you've previewed your video, if you want to make changes, you can click the edit button. If you like it the way it is, go ahead and click done. Google Classroom will automatically save all your video activities that you've created here in the resource section under video activities. The final step in this process is to assign your video activity to students. So I'm here in my Google Classroom. I'm going to go to Classwork, Create, Assignment. Then I'm going to give it a title. Down here on the bottom, I'm going to select YouTube, then select My Video Activities to access my library of saved activities. Select the activity I want students to participate in and click Attach. From here, I could set the parameters of my assignment, due date, points, etc., and then click Assign. Once your students have participated in a video activity, Google Classroom provides a ton of awesome data. So I'm here in Ms. Halvig's Google Classroom, a teacher at Cesar Chavez Middle. She's assigned this video activity to students. They've completed it, and now she can review their work. You can see here in the middle of the screen, it will tell you by question how many students answered correctly or incorrectly. Over here on the left, you can see a list of students and how they performed by each individual question. And also on the top under insights, these are AI generated insights that'll give you some additional information and summaries on student performance. So I hope you and your students enjoy video activities.